everybody. Welcome to another episode of What You Packing. I'm Michelle Visage, and joining me here today is Yuhua Hamasaki. Hi, Michelle. Hi. How are you? Well, I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm great. You look gorgeous. Thank you, darling. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm do so you. Jealous. Even with this no makeup? You're very womana. Really? Yes. Not Jackie Chan realness? Or? No, not at oh, all. thank you. That's really thank racist. You. <laughs> no, I, I'm Asian. What do you want? I, okay, but you and Jackie Chan are not interchangeable. We don't taste alike. Okay. That's for sure. So New York City. Yes. Born and bred? Born in China. Moved to the U.S. when I was seven years old. And when I first came here, everything was just a culture shock because it was so different from China. Where was your first taste of New York City drag? The days with Suzanne Barsh and Kenny Kenny. And RuPaul. Wait, those are my days. Yeah. How old are you? I am 27 right now. Then how I, could you know those? Those are my, I'm 49. Yes. Those There's were, a little discrepancy Those here. are the first people that I actually went to, went to the clubs with. Amanda Lepore, all those people. And RuPaul was just um, promoting Star Booty at the time. And she was the first drag queen that I ever saw step into Kino 41 during that time in 2007. Next thing you know, I was a full on drag queen. So I was just doing gender bending at the time. And what was this competition like for you? Oh, it was insane. Yes, I mean, it was. it was so different watching it on TV than actually being in it. Because on TV you're like, oh, I can do that. Oh, I can do that. Oh, what was she thinking? And then you're here like, oh my God, what am I thinking? Right. What am I doing? Usually half the girls on the first episode of Making Stuff Yourself they suck, but I, as I look around the room, they're like amazing creations. They were all like Christian Siriano, like yeah. they were stitching. Yes, girl. So you came on here, you're in the season that came to slay, you see yourself looking around the room. Do you freak out or does it make you go, oh no, I gotta work harder? It makes me feel proud, first of all. And then it makes me feel like, oh, let's do this. I'm excited. It wasn't nervous, it was more like, eager determination. I love that. Yeah. You know. Let's talk about some of these beautiful outfits. Did you make that red one? The red one? Yes, I did. That's insane. That one I was going to wear for the finale or the one that um for best drag that I get to wear. It is so beautiful and Thank so you. authentic Thank and you. Thank so you. celebratory. Thank you. That's what I'm so proud of my heritage, Asian culture. So I mixed that with the American culture with a little bit with the red, the gold. So and then this one, I made half of this. I made the jacket and, uh, and What are those on there? Are they old like pins and rings? They're pins, they're stones. Drag droppings that fell apart. Crystals and a bunch of sh you know. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. And this Yeti thing that behind you. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's fur. Yes. To keep me warm in the cold. Because you're so teeny tiny. I know. I love that. Cocoon. And you did not make that one. I did not make that one, my friend did. Uh, Chen Kui Chuang. We've had a lot of Asian drag queens over mm -hmm. the years that participated in RuPaul's Drag Race. And I love the sense of community right. that the Asian queens have. Even Manila, who's only half Filipino. And she's so proud of her hair. So proud, I love that. So That's why it. this one right here is probably my favorite. Would so you wear it? I would look ridiculous in it, but I would, would wear, wear it. Would you wear it to bed? I would, yeah. Oh, my house would like that. <laughs> Scratch him with a sequin. I would wear anything with a shoulder that looks like that. Yeah, I love it. Obviously. Yeah. What would you have done differently, you, if you were to do it all again? I wouldn't. I honestly You wouldn't do it again? I would totally do okay, it again. Okay. Like, if you want me to come back and on the stage, I'll do it. Okay. If you want me to come and slice a bitch in half, I'll do it. Totally do it again. Who would you be in the Snatch Game? Who are you going to do? I was going to do Jackie Chan. Oh, my God. Jackie Chan. I didn't get to do it, but it's okay. It's okay because you never know when there's another all star right, in the corner. Right, right, right. I wouldn't have done anything differently because I, the entire time I was here, I was having fun. I was myself. I didn't try to put on a show. Like, I just enjoy the ride why I can't because it's going to be all over before you know it. it you know what? You, know you what have mean? no idea how happy that makes me to hear that from one of you. Because it's usually me telling the girls, you guys, you need to get out there. You need to be nice to people. You need to exactly. make your money. You need to put it in the bank because this ride won't last forever. We exactly. are so lucky that drag is being celebrated right now. Right. Tomorrow, we might not get that luxury. Exactly. Milk it. Yes. Every freaking drop. Like, yes. do it while you can because I remember us all coming in like, oh, we're gonna be here for a while, we're, do we're gonna be doing all these challenges, but you know, right now, like, oh, it's all over. Speaking you know about I mean? eliminations, right? did you feel yours was justified? I think we all ha can say that we went home too early, right? Oh, amen. Right? Of course, of course. Um, was mine justified? Uh, I should stay longer, I would say, but you never know when watching yourself on TV, how you're gonna do. You might think, oh, I'm fierce now, but watching on TV, be like, oh, I'm not so great. Sorry, girl. Even for myself, I would have to send myself home. As but... long as you could see it. Yeah. Because the real telltale sign is when you watch it 
and it get, you get it and you go, that's what they were saying. Exactly. That's what they were trying to tell me. And then take those critiques, make the most out of it, learn from it, and rise above it. That's all I can say. Well, you know what? I've enjoyed our time here. I loved getting to know you. Now, where's my pay for my time? No, you don't get that. <laughs> when you cook for me, I'll pay you. I'll boil you water. How about that? <laughs> I love it. Mm. And thank you, you guys, for watching another What You Packing. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, beauties. It's Sasha Velour, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. Do you want all the hot Drag Race tea? then you better subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel, and you'll have all the fresh videos sent directly to your inbox. Now that's something not to joke about.